Do you suggest any practices that are strange? As I, as I have said many times in my discussions with people and on the YouTube presentations, I do not believe that there is any practice at all that we need to engage in our worship of God because I do not believe God desires our worship, but rather God desires our love and a relationship. I do feel that there are certain things that will help us with regard to that relationship. One of those things is a desire for God's love, which I view as prayer. Another one of those things is a desire for God's truth, which I also view as a prayer for truth. And then the third thing that I view is quite important is a desire for personal humility, something that we need to do to see ourselves more accurately. We need to be honest about ourselves. These are things that I believe are important in our relationship with God. I do not believe they can be practiced. They can either be desired and felt or not. They can't be something that we rotely go through some kind of intellectual practice and this earns us a place with God. God, God is more intelligent than that and also understands more about us than, than we do. If we believe that we can just go through a heap of intellectual practices while at the same time having unloving emotions, then we have a very poor opinion of God, in my opinion. If we believe that we can get away with having all of these terrible emotions coming out of us, all these unloving things that we do to other people, and then still believe that God is going to accept us, then we've got, another, we've got to relook at the whole situation. And we've got to see that God is far more intelligent and far more loving than a God who would accept that kind of worship. So I feel no religious practice is necessary to connect to God. I do feel that a desire and longing for God is necessary to connect to God. And that is going to involve three things, a desire for, for longing God, for God's love, desire for longing for God's truth, and personal humility, the ability to see myself as God sees me, and warts and all, and to be the person that I truly am, and to work on recovering the person if the person I truly am is out of harmony with love. These are the only things necessary for us to have any relationship with God. Anything else, any other religious observance, is a man-made creation that is completely unnecessary in our relationship with God.